What's good, BM crew? It's your boy B. And it's mine. And as y'all see by the title, we're gonna go ahead and do the mug bang. I ain't gonna lie, I'm so hungry, y'all, and I'm excited about this because this is a new seafood that we're gonna eat today. Yeah. So it's not excited. new to us, but it's new to y'all. Cause y'all yes. used to us eating juicy crab. Hey, y'all probably like Y'all probably like juicy crab. Y'all not eat juicy crab? No. no. <laughs> you found something better? Literally found something better. I, how did we even come across Pirate's Boil? So, like, what made us actually eat it? So, my sister, because we remember, I remember one time we went to Pirate's Boil before. It was your sister. Uh huh. But remember, we went to Pirate's Boil before my sister, too. Yeah. And we went to Pirate's Boil, but because I, I know somebody that eat Pirate's Boil, but I just never really like was like, okay, let me try it. And then Brianna was like, y'all, I found this spot. And then she said, Pirate's Boil. We was like, we, we was literally there. Like, y'all, one time we went to Pirate's Boil. And we legit like walked sat out. there for like 15 minutes, grabbed the menu, and walked out. <laughs> now this is before my sister told us like it's it's busting. Right. So we would have known before her, and we would have put her on, but you know, she put. So us that's on. how yeah, that's how we got put on. His sister put us on, and since then we ain't never had juicy crab again. Never had juicy. We crab said again. we were gonna get it one time just to be sure. That we not just xing them out. Yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, I don't I really know. think I don't really see a reason for it to be honest. Yeah, it's like Pirates Bowl is just really good. Yeah. Oh shit! Did it hit you? <laughs> Who threw a box at my baby? What the hell? Uh, what the hell is this? What is this? Wait, hold on. Really? What is it? Yeah. It's Christmas time. Christmas time. Let's see what's in it. Let's see what's in it. Let's get it. Let me grab the scissors. What the hell? Santa Claus loving us, baby. What we got in the box? All right, we got some scissors, y'all. So we gonna open this. We gonna see what we got up in here today, y'all. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's see what we got, man. I like this. I like surprises, y'all. Right. Like, what this is? Now, uh, legit, we legit don't know what's in this bag. Like, <laughs> no. We know who it's from. Cause he, he surprised us with this and shout out to him because he's family, he blood. Let me see though, I'm excited. Hold right. on, hold on. What is the big thing? Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Hold on, time out, time out, time out. Forget the box. Come on. All right, get the box, get the box. Get the box. Y'all, first and foremost, check out the packaging. Look at this. Shout out to, wait, what does it say? Welcome, oh wait. WC the brand. So. But this is really dope because they have the globe inside the WC and their logo is low key the globe with the plug because the name of it is called Well Connected. You know what I'm saying? Man, make sure y'all go copy out some Well Connected, bro. Yes. Shout out to the fam. This is my blood cousin. You know what I'm saying? This is family to me. He sent, he sent us a pack. You know what I'm saying? And we still gonna buy a pack from him. You know what I'm saying? Because we just, that's family. That's how we, that's what right. we gonna do. But yeah, man, we got us. We, we, well, let's see what we got, right. bro. What I'm, we got? I'm loving the green. I literally. Oh. Same new vibe. We got the green. Oh, wait. Oh, this we is, got matching. This is a jumpsuit. Oh, I thought it was just a hoodie. Oh, wait a minute. Hey man, cuz show love on the drill, bro. Look at this, y'all. Yo, look how pretty and vibrant them colors is, though. First and foremost, and then for those to be put on the green, bro. Cuz you snap with this one, cuz you yes. snap, you snap, bro. Look at this, look at this. Then we got the oh, bro. This is so hey, I can't wait to put this on. Oh, no, I ain't really. a cap. Wait, time out, time out, time out, cuz we got something else in here. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Ooh, we got the blue. Hey. Oh, it feels yeah, good. Yeah, this feels great, bro. Hey, cuz, I need you to tell me what material this is, cuz this feel like some, I don't know, I feel like I washed my face with this shirt. <laughs> this is, this is no, good. No, it feels really good. some good material, good. bro. Not a regular t-shirt. Now, real talk, man, y'all make sure y'all get y'all some well connected, man. Like, Come bro, on, look at this. Face. Look at this. And then, y'all, this ain't no gilded shirt, you hear me? This no. ain't no gilded shirt, this is well connected. Stop playing with him, you hear me? Yeah. Oh, and hold up. This time I, 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 I had glitz. Y'all, no, these are some real like they are so solid. freaking cute. These are solid, y'all. And then it's not even just print on, y'all. This is like uh I don't even it's know. Like what this in, is it's like almost like embossed, but it's not embossed because it's it's like a Right, because it's not I don't know what this is, cuz it's hard, man. What the hell? And then you got the, so the mint green, them hard. No, I love this. Hey, say cuz you show love. Dog. Oh my god. This hey, is so hey, cute. You, I'm trying to put it on. I don't know, I'm trying to red. You want red? Let's put it on. Let's do it. Okay. 
Whoa! Yeah, I like that. This is much I like more this. Fitting. I feel a little swaggy. I feel like I'm ready to. Hold on, man. Y'all gotta. I gotta see the drip, man, because I got the wheel connected on the thing. I even, I'm rocking the slides. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, say, cuz. I really appreciate this, man. We're gonna, we gonna do this whole video and, and well connected, because we well connected, you hear me? We, we, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do. But nah, real talk, though, man. If y'all ain't got that well connected, make sure that y'all go get plugged in with well connected. The social media is right here and below. Make sure you go follow my cuz, you know what I'm saying? Go copy all some fits. They got some really nice designs coming out. Make sure y'all go copy, as y'all can see. It's <laughs> pressure. It's pressure. Pressure. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm ready to eat. Yeah, so I'm starving. Ready to eat? I'm starving. I'm starving, babe. Let's eat, man. Like Marvin. Let's eat. You ready? Yes. This what I wanted. Oh my god. Hey. Let me tell y'all something, bro. We love Juicy Crab, but hey, let me tell y'all, man. Ain't nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing like Pirates Boy. So let me tell y'all why we like Pirates Boy. I feel like Juicy Crab, their sauce is like very buttery, like. Make your stomach hurt. Yeah, and this one is like, it's more about flavor. Than yeah, yeah, like their, their sauce have a little more flavor to it. Like Juicy Crab was, they had flavor to it, but it yeah. was way more grease, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, like it was just a more greasy feel, but Pirates Ball is really like the perfect medium between Crab Queens and juicy crab. Like I it's agree. The perfect, it's the perfect medium. Yes. Perfect medium. Definitely. So. It got a little sweetness to it. You already know before we eat, we gotta say our grace. So, Heavenly Father, I wanna praise you, bless this food, enhance it, prepare it, let it nourish our bodies. Anything of harm, let it not enter. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's eat. I'm hungry. Yes. And just so y'all know, y'all, honestly, when we do eat uh, Pirates Ball, though, we don't really eat like Buku. Like, we share with what they call a treasure chest. We go, we get the treasure chest, and we share it. We just add an extra pound of, not extra pound, an extra, you know, half pound. pound of shrimp, because I'm a shrimp person, so, you know what I'm saying? I need my shrimp. I don't even know how this sauce tastes like this. What they got in there? We ain't got nothing to drink. I'm gonna go fix something to drink. Please, because I'm thirsty, baby. <laughs> Before we get too into right, it. Right, man. And the eagles, let's go again. The eagle. who, who did you pick this game? I think I picked the eagles. Yeah, we got the game going. Speaking of games, all right, so yeah, we do got the game going right now. That's why I'm kind of looking off to the side because I'm watching the game and we're we filming. So speaking of games, y'all, this is why I love having a, a lady that's into football because we can do stuff like this. So we literally, we have a big bet going on. So every week we pick who's going to win out of every NFL team. So every time, you know, every Sunday, We'll have, well, it starts on Thursday, of course. Yeah. She she does the list, of course. She just do all of the organization stuff. But <laughs> she makes the, the little spreadsheet. And every Sunday, you know, we bet on the winner of each game. Yeah, we, we, we do that bet every week. And at the end of the bet, whoever wins has to buy the next person, like, a real nice jersey. Like, yeah, of their favorite team. Of their team. favorite team. So, you know. So, I'm coming for my Alvin Kamara jersey. You know what's Even funny? Even though right now, I'm not in the league. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny, though? Even if I do win, I don't know who I'm about to get. I guess I get a pitch jersey because Julio don't play for the, the Falcons no more. I don't want a Matt Ryan jersey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those teams suck. I, I don't know who you would get either. I don't know, yeah. And it's really funny because I'm really from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Hard head, like, to the fullest. And I'm a Falcons fan. Like, my family really disowned me because I'm a Falcons fan, but I don't care. And we about, about to disown Carly, too. Because he done messed her up, got her talking about some no. rise up. I ain't messed her up. I yes, got her did. right. No, what you mean, baby. messed her up? Now you got her a part of a losing team. Bay. Bay. It is not a losing team. And he swear our kids are going to be Falcons fans. Y'all, y'all, so, <laughs> so y'all don't think me and my kids going to be Falcons fans. You got to think about it. No, they're, they're gonna not. They going to be raised. Babe. To be, babe, be honest, like with yourself. I'm being honest. Be with honest myself. with yourself. They because be, the Falcons are still gonna suck. Why would they want to be a, a fan of a losing? Babe, team? by the time they old enough to understand football, Falcons gonna have a championship ring. I'm saying a lot right now, but I'm just saying. Yeah, cause y'all done been twice and lost twice. <laughs> they don't matter though. Are we talking about the past right now? Or are we talking about the present? We can talk about the present too. Y'all ain't got no rings right now. And y'all want. <laughs> <laughs> so with our bet when it first started out he was always in the lead and then i caught up not for real and i had a big lead too and she caught up man I'm i caught up and i was in the lead for maybe like a week or two <laughs> and then he tied Got it ass. and then now he's back in the lead i hope i can pull it off i'm trying to get my jersey no i ain't gonna cut i'll be 
I be playing around, but see now it's getting December football, so it's the last four games, last, you know, really four, four five games. What? I'm pretty sure I picked Philadelphia for this year. Yeah, I think I picked Philly this year. And then the, the, in December, bro, December is like the month of upsets. Like, it's like all these teams be fighting for their place in the playoffs. Everybody be trying to get to the playoffs, da da da, all that. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I always pick the Saints. But this week, when we played Tampa Bay, I'm thinking, I'm like, man. Yeah, you better get your team in. You I did. Lost. I'm like, man, I'm trying to get this jersey. I'm not going to pick who I want to win. I'm going to pick who I think going to win. Yeah, I know what she did. She bet against her own people. I picked freaking Tampa Bay. I was How you a Saints <laughs> fan and you going to pick against your team? Like, come on now. Y'all should uh, understand. No, my, as bad as, Atlanta, as the Falcons is, bro, I can sit here and say I ain't never. He didn't. I ain't never bet against my Atlanta Falcons. I, I don't know. I'm going to go back and look no. and see. You probably have. You probably have. I, I don't think I did. I really don't think I'm, I did. I'm see. Because I, I, I think I get pissed every week because <laughs> I'd be like, I, if I try to support y'all. And I, but I need y'all to give me a reason to support. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, Falcons fan, y'all understand how bad it is and how hurtful it is right now to be a Falcons fan. But it's all right. It hurts We're to be a Saints back. fan right now, too. It hurts worse to be a Saints fan because y'all be this close every year. Every year they end up right with us. in on couch. Who we play, Green Bay? I don't know who y'all play next week. Okay, who we played? Oh. Was it Green Bay? No, it was San Francisco. Y'all, yeah. couldn't it be San Francisco? They waxed y'all. Hey. Like I think they had like thirty something. Y'all had y'all was in the teens. I don't know what made me think about this, but how y'all feel about the whole like? So which one is, is you getting? I don't know. You get you get these three. Let me not take these. Mm mm. You can have all three of them. You know I'm really eating that much. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm totally fine with this. Okay. I don't know what made me think about this though, but uh, how y'all feel about like the whole like Danny Lay the baby situation? Oh, child, that was um, that was a lot. I'm gonna give my honest opinion though. I feel like that was all fake, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna say why. Because I think Danny Lay. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. <laughs> Dan, I'm just say Danny. I think that she went through a lot of bad press like people just stopped liking her yeah anytime they, she did something it was just like oh like man, girl she became she really became like one of the most just hated and bullied celebrities yeah for no reason. Like, literally <laughs> so i think they they needed something for people to be on her side for people to like her again yeah right? and i feel like it's low-key working because now every time somebody see her they're like oh her baby da -da -da -da. yeah now that baby is adorable it like is. that baby is that, freaking she's adorable so beautiful but i do like i just be feeling like a lot of this stuff with this industry just be fake be fake like even with like the drake and kanye beef you know what i'm saying like that was so fake in my opinion because yeah. i feel like they really homeboys you know what i'm saying but it's like it's smart because they get people talking uh -huh. and you, gonna, you know that people gonna be talking about you even if it is fake people gonna be like it's fake but they still talking about you your name still right being mentioned, so. <laughs> and they still gonna pay to go see whatever exactly because like, they don't do something to get well they already did something yeah they did it. and then on top of that is when you beefing with a rapper People gonna listen to all your songs. They gonna want to see if you said something about their rap in these and in your music. So yep. that's that's the one of the best ways to promote your music because you know people gonna be listening for something. You know what yep. I'm saying? So them they, they were smart when they did what they did, but it's just like it all be fake. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I think too. It all be fake. It all be fake. Like Maya, you hit that on the head. Like they needed people to like Danny Lay again. Like they needed people to really like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I think. I, I, to be real, I ain't gonna say he innocent, but I feel like. The baby is not as crazy and evil as they as he no, is they just in know the people media. Like to see that. I think that's just his character mm -hmm. at this point. But I mean, that's just my opinion. Obviously, we don't know these people. But but y'all gotta understand it too. Like all the stuff that with these artists, like these artists really be characters. Like literally, they just gotta do what sells. <laughs> exactly, and there's nothing nothing wrong with it at all. But that's just what it is. Like. A lot of times y'all could think that y'all know these celebrities, man. Y'all don't know nothing about them. Half these celebrities, y'all don't really know their real name. Right. <laughs> like, for real. And and honestly, that's kind of how I want it. Like, when I blow up, because I know I will. Yep. Like, 
I want y'all to think y'all know me. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, to be cool, y'all know me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so, so y'all some OGs, but like, to the newcomers, like, I want people to think they know me, but they don't really know nothing about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, even with me and my relationship, like, y'all think y'all know us. Well, y'all do know us, like, because what you see is what you get. What you see but, is real, but you don't see everything. All right. Mm hmm. Perfect. You put it perfect. You don't see everything at all. You don't see the half. Right? You don't see the half. We do say all the time, like, once we start doing more, like, traveling and all that stuff, like, we are going to start picking y'all up and, you know, taking y'all on our lives with us more. But we just be like, you know what I'm saying? We don't really have much to film at the moment. Right. Because, like, right now we in that stage of, of us just kind of, like, we both just finally, like, in a good space, like, just get on our feet in Atlanta and, and really just in good situations, both of us are. And... You know, we just don't be having much to, to, to really do. But now what we do say we want to do is we want to start forcing ourselves to get out more. Like, we forcing ourselves to, like, really go places, go see new venues, go see, like, new restaurants, go see yeah. new, just new stuff. Yes, because you know there's a lot of stuff in Atlanta. Like, a lot. But there's so much stuff that we don't, you know, we don't even be thinking about. And I got a whole list of stuff. Like, every time I see a TikTok or... Mm. TikTok, yeah. TikTok be showing us all of these are some juicy legs. They bro. really are. But bro, TikTok is it, it show you everything you need to know about whatever city you're in. Right. Like, so yeah. <laughs> all kind of food places or entertainment. Every time I see something, I'm like, oh, we would enjoy that. Mm -hmm. I write it. I have a note that's full of like places to go in Atlanta. So that's what we about to start doing. We're gonna start going a lot of places. Uh, another thing we. We, we, we're trying to do is like we want to start like a couples travel group like we really want to start getting like couples that we know you know what i'm saying together and really going on vacations because in 2022 y'all when i tell y'all y'all about to see us traveling a lot like 2022 y'all gonna be like do y'all stay still because, <laughs> because we haven't we have a vacation vacation together and we want to definitely do that you know what i'm saying of course before we have kids and all that stuff but yeah we got to do that like now because yes mm -hmm. the time. yes We've been too freaking long. You know what I'm saying? Since we haven't been. What's the first? So when we do. So matter of fact, I just ask you this. What's your dream vacation? Like if you. A dream vacation? Yeah, if you had. If you want a million dollars. Oh. Nice. And they can be like. You can go anywhere you want to right now. Where you going? Um, and what you doing? It's hard to choose. I would either go somewhere with water like the Maldives or Bora Bora or I would go on a tour of freaking Europe like I want to go everywhere, everywhere in Europe. I want to go to Paris and Rome like I just want to go all to those places mm -hmm. I, I would do that so I don't know I don't, I don't know it depends on my vibes like am I feeling real touristy or am i feeling like relaxing water yeah it almost it's like what kind of vacation is it? is it relaxing is it like relaxing vacation is it a tour like you a know, tour, sightseeing vacation? yeah yeah oh and i ain't gonna lie i really like really want to go to africa like I, and i want to go to the the mother like i want to go to egypt, egypt. yes i want to go to egypt so jerusalem bad. i want to be in those places that jesus christ was yes like walk in the same footsteps am i you know what i'm saying Y'all comment, what's y'all's favorite place to be? Or what, what's y'all's dream vacation? You know what I'm saying? Comment below what y'all's dream vacation is because we want to know what y'all's dream vacation is too. You know what I'm saying? What's yours? Mine, if I had one of me, dollars and I go anywhere right now, I think I'm going to the Maldives. The Maldives. I think I'm going to the Maldives. Um, either the Maldives or Bora Bora because I'm, a, I'm really a beach kind of guy. Like water, beach. Like I'm that kind of kind of guy. Like I really love... Like just stuff like that, like palm trees, beaches, sand. That's my type of vibe. Like I'm a real like earthy sightseeing, real pretty like pretty views. Like I'm a pretty views type person. Like I like to be on the beach and all that type. I'm more of a relaxation vacation type person. So mm -hmm. my dream vacation definitely would be going to Maldives or Bora Bora <coughs> or Santorini, Greece. Oh, Santorini, Greece. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. I just want to see all this beautiful stuff that god put on this freaking earth like when i be seeing pictures and videos and stuff on instagram of all these foreign places 
it is just so amazing to me. I just be like, God really did. He his really thing. did his thing. Like that man could never, could mm -hmm. never do half of what God has Heck done no. on this earth. It's Heck just no. so amazing. Ooh, babe. So tell me how you felt about Deirdre and Ken. Cause you yeah. know, we just found out when she did her video that, I mean, people knew they yeah, broke we up. We always knew, but she really just confirmed yeah, it. Yeah, she's like, like, yeah, that's what that it was. was. Pretty, it was pretty obvious. Cause you know, well, if you follow De'Aaron and Ken, which we do because they've been, if y'all really watch our YouTube, you'll know that they've been a big part of our journey as yes. far as just like inspiration. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We met them before, all this good several stuff. Times. Like several times, you know, they know who we are. Yeah. Uh, it was, everybody knew, you know what I'm saying? Like once they started living separately, like it was just kind of a given. Yeah. You know, like. I will say, I commend them for how they did it. Like, oh yeah, they, they did it so cool. I, and, and I didn't expect anything less, like, mm -hmm. because they always have been the mature type. Like they didn't do all the childish stuff. Like, and they gave y'all one, well not y'all, they gave us one last video together, just kind of talking about how they were about to do things separate. So I commend them for how they did it. Cause that's tough. Like to be on the platform that they had with no. that many supporters and to still be like, we gotta go our separate ways. Yeah, it's tough, tough, man. Like, I just, I don't know, man. Cause it's pressure. I, mean, I know for sure. Like if me and Maya be feeling pressure sometimes, like I'm a hundred percent sure that they feel pressure because yeah. and, and honestly and truly you never know. Like I feel like they probably wanted to break up so much lo so long ago, but they just felt the pressure of making it work because they were such a positive couple. Like they, honestly, for the black culture, they are the couple. You know what I'm saying? Like anytime when it comes to YouTube or anything, like Deara and Ken was the standard for YouTube couples. Yes. Like and everybody knows that. Like that's yeah. why that's who we strive to be a to be like. You know what I'm saying? Because. Yeah. They was just they that was top black yeah. couple, like they was literally the Beyonce and Jay Z of YouTube. Literally, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying, like. They and didn't I do... think it was because they was just so genuine. They didn't do none of the fake, right? Stuff. Or if it was fake, I mean, you know, right? Like, and then it seemed so real and genuine. Like I didn't, I never got those fake forced vibes from them. Facts. They didn't have to collab with everybody in the. <gasps> Drink it. All right, I'm gonna take a sip of that. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what I was talking about? Oh, that made me lose my train of thought. What I was talking about? The air again. Um. Anyway, that made me lose my train of thought. But anyways, I just, I just know that they had, they felt the pressure. You know what I'm saying? But. Yeah. Honestly and truly though, from watching like that uh, Diara Truth or Drink, it just seems like Diara is honestly like really happy. Yeah. Um, she seems like she's in a real genuine and good, happy space. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like she said, she was in a relationship for seven years and you never know how long they was dealing with, you know, their hardships or whatever. So it's good to see that she's in a real good space. You know what I'm saying? I, I still kind of want to see more from Ken. I feel like Ken really just kind of also on the more just trying to figure himself out kick, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, uh, so yeah, man, I just feel like, you know, I, I'm, I'm sad about it, of course, everybody's right. sad about it. But at the end of the day, you know, it's life, you know, we, we all it. grown, we all grown and it's like, stuff like that happens, man. You got people yeah. who be married for 10 years and, and get a yep. divorce. Megan, Megan Good, good like, and Devin Franklin, right. I think that's their name. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just so crazy to me. Yeah. Life so. happens, but we still support them both. Oh, yeah. Dear and Kim. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, I hope they one day get back together. Mm -hmm. I do. I, <laughs> I feel really like. I do. All right, speaking y'all, show out. Mm -hmm. And then come back together. But you know, if they, they say if it's really true love and if it's meant to be, like, it's gonna always come back. Like, no matter what. No matter what. We're gonna see. So, you know what I'm saying? So, you never know. But. Okay, so, speaking of couples now. What you think about the almost little baby and Sweetie? Oh, I low key. <laughs> that was interesting. I mean, that, it really shocked the hell out of me. I'm honestly, like, it, for some reason, it didn't like shock me, but it was like I didn't believe that it was like a real thing, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I believed that it was a real like. I feel like it was. It was there. real enough for publicity. <laughs> Because I feel like if they knew that they didn't want, if they didn't want people talking, like Sweetie, I feel like would have been way more careful with what she posted. 
but she deleted it. Oh, damn. But that's the point. She know people gonna screenshot the same second. Oh, Man, these celebrities, I'm telling y'all, these celebrities are good, bro. I mean, I definitely see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I really do. But at, at the same time, it could have been real. I don't know. But it's like, it was just a hundred thousand dollars shopping spree. Like the baby, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. But it's like, yeah, it's nothing. But like, you still ain't about to spend. Yeah, that on just no, anybody. On no you ain't about to spend a hundred bands on just anybody. On bro. just you anybody. Right. You right about that. You right. And so we got her own money too. So yeah, you really wanted to gift bag. her that whatever you bought. Yeah, sweetie definitely been in her bag with these endorsements and with the and, right, you know, deals and stuff. So. <clears throat> I, I, I'm I'm here for Sweetie. I like her little practice video that she had put out that yeah. time with the twerk that ass boy. I I see see her. Her. That was cute. You know it was weird, but I would love to see it, but I don't feel like nobody else would. Cause people don't really know her like this. But I feel like Lakia and Lil Baby would make a nice couple. Huh. The, the rapper Lakia. Yeah. Y'all know Lakia that signed to uh QC? I feel like I, I just know a little bit of her music. Mm -hmm. I don't really know a lot of her. I can see them like making something happen. Like, being wrong. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just a huge Jada fan. Like, she, she did say recently in an interview that she was like, she don't think it's like done, done, but like, it would take a lot of repairing the yeah. damage. Yeah. So I'm like, mm, that's what they be saying when they already talking. They already they talking, are, so right. they know that they gonna, they don't want to say nothing that looks mm -hmm. stupid later on. So, but honestly, and then also you just know what's real. Like you know, like when you have something real and you know it really ain't over. Y'all just needed some time to see other people for a second or something. You know what I'm saying? So, so. That's one thing though. I just, I don't know. I am full. I'm Me not too. gonna lie. Me too. I can't eat no more. I'm forcing. I'm full too. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. We full right now. We full. We full. I am so full. Like full. I, I don't even think I can eat this. You can't. Yeah, me neither. I think I can. <laughs> so, so y'all, we full. We done talk to y'all, bro. I still can't get over these sweatshirts. Shout okay, out to what connected. Still clean. Right, still clean. Shout out to what connected, bro. You can eat crab, crab, crab balls <laughs> and not even get it dirty. You hear me? Like that's just. It's just like, yeah, mud is protecting this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to y'all. Shout out to her, yeah. To the walkers. Shout out to the walkers, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, much love to y'all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, man. Make sure you guys go and copy y'all some Will Connected. And also make sure you guys tune in for our next video because we is about to be turning up for y'all. So we hope you guys stick up, stay ready, and be strapped because we about to blow. Ooh, that was a good one. Ah, ah, see you guys next video. Peace.